12 weeks ago? Mm -hmm. yeah. August the 9th. Yeah, August 9th. Um, yeah, I guess I'll tell my dad and story. So, it was um, Saturday morning, Friday night, like 2 a.m. Woke up with excruciating abdominal pains in my gallbladder area. This went on for about an hour or so. So we're like, okay, we've got to go to the hospital. We get in, they're like, okay, so her blood sugar is kind of high. We'll give her some insulin, take some ultrasounds, make sure nothing's wrong. Um, after that, they let me out. Then we went home. They gave me some metformin, which uh, they gave me metformin. But, <laughs> um, and then the next day at church, we have a fellow church mate who is um, type 2 diabetic. And so we're like, okay, let's just go ahead and check the sugar. Well, we checked it, it was like 590 something. And so we're like, okay, back to the hospital. And so we go there and they're like, okay, you're diabetic. And so they admitted me in and we stayed there for three or so days. And they're like, okay, off you go. And so, yeah, that was, that was tough. The whole getting out of the hospital and thing. And so, <laughs> Did they tell you what was going on when all of this? I don't know. What to, I mean, they were explaining yeah. things to you, right? They were. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. They, they were. They were really helpful. Very, very patient with me. Yeah. Well, that's a scary you, diagnosis. What name? How old are you? I'm 13 now. So I was 12. Now. She are just you, turned. Yeah, I just turned 13. Are you on insulin? Yes. Shots. No. And you're going you're to get eventually get a pump. Yes, ma'am. They're just awaiting insurance, like most people. Yeah. What? Do you have any friends your age that are diabetics? I actually have a classmate who I've known forever, and um, he was got he's he's got he's diabetic, and um, we're the only two in the school that are diabetic, which happened in, it was really weird because we are in every single class together. We have the same schedule and everything. Because that really helps out a lot. So he's insulin dependent mm -hmm. too. So at least you got somebody you can talk to yeah. and you can kind of bounce stories off each other. Yeah. Did you have any kind of warning or did they have any reason that you had this sudden onset? Well, now that we booked back on it in these past months, there was all the signs the constant urinating, thirst, 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 thirst. yes, everything. The headaches, the fatigue, everything. It was there, and we're just like, eh, we had a change of lifestyle. We got healthy. So it's more just probably a change of lifestyle. And then we're like, okay, not a change of lifestyle. I mean, it was a change of lifestyle. Like, it's been a big change of lifestyle. <laughs> what kind of support do you get from um, the school, the doctors? The support as well. Okay. We're having so much support, whether it be from the school. I'm constantly having teachers who may not have been, <coughs> been my teachers at any point. They're going, are you are you okay today? How is your sugar band? Do you need anything? I'm, we're good. And um, doctors, the doctors are so helpful. If I'm ever questioning, uh, they're just like, yeah, we we got this. We you got this in the bag. And then um, the main, my main support system, I guess, is from my family. See, I have two older siblings and two younger siblings. Both are twins, so it's two sets of twins. Oh. <laughs> and they're just so helpful. Uh, the little, the little set 